and welcome to Outside Outlook, where we try to give impressions and thoughts on certain subjects. Keep in mind that this is our opinion and in no way aims to hurt anyone. So if you feel but hurt by it, in any way, why don't you go to your mom and cry about it? See how much good that does you? Today's topic is popular music. Yes, I know many people have talked about it and it's very common these days to hate on popular music. But in no way are we above hating on it, because let's face it, it's shit. First off, we should describe what we mean by popular music. Well, in short, it is music that is liked by the masses. Music which is popular, hence the name of the genre. Arguably the most significant performer in this genre is Michael Jackson, called by many the king of pop. I'm not much of a fan of his music, but I will admit that I respect the guy for his singing prowess and abilities as a performer. There is something we'll call the pop star phenomenon that recurs in popular music. A notable example of this would be Madonna, in whose steps many a scumbag wannabe diva have followed. What I mean by this is that occurrence of just coming into the pop scene, doing things that start a controversy, all for the sake of what they call art, and then just disappear. For let's face it, Madonna ain't anything but a has-been now, and she's on her way to become a pensioni. This, at the bottom of the screen, is the suckage level. In this episode, we will analyze these so-called artists, their flaws, and we shall name them depending on how bad these flaws stink, and we will not have any pity. First order of business since I talk about the pop star phenomenon is Lady Gaga. I've heard him from a rather questionable choice of name. After all, she can name herself what she wants. But what about her music and her act in general? Well, it suffers from the same virus that plagues pop music these days. Nonsensical lyrics, generic beats, mainly talking about what they consider as love and sex. Whereas Madonna might have done it in a more subtle way, here we are faced with someone who ain't afraid to say she wants to write or play with a disco stick, whatever that may be. And of course, anyone with a, at least half a quarter of a neuron can guess what it was referring to, so for that I give her two stars on the sucker each other. Her act itself ain't much to write home about, it can be said that it still follows Madonna's ways, trying to create controversy. Thing is, many artists do this. Most of them claim it's for artistic purposes, perhaps, but to us it seems like they do that for one other reason, to attract attention. They can justify it all they want, but if they wanted to be artistic, there were other ways other than putting on a meat dress, huh, Lady Gaga? That solidifies another two stars for Lady Gaga, and one more for being a complete ripoff of Madonna, so yeah, 5 stars. Way to go Lady Gaga, and good continuation on whatever back alley of drunk as Cuntsville this brings you. The phenomenon doesn't seem to let up either, as more and more nonsense gibbering bird brains are shoved down our throats by radio stations these days. We have Katy Perry and Nicki Minaj, and don't even get me started on their song material. Another a bit more recent phenomenon in the pop music industry, for yes, it is an industry. The boy band phenomenon. Leaving aside the aim it has of making young girls swoon, it sucks just as much. The latest member of that trend is One Direction, former contenders on the show X Factor, following Justin Bieber, who was in himself a one-man boy band. Wait, boy, man. No matter, they follow the same trend as Bieber did, even if he still does have popularity among girls and those with not half a brain. They sing about love songs, aim mostly at girls and make them fall madly for them, knowing full well that that will make them a dickload of money. Face it girls, those guys don't give a flying duck about you no matter how much you follow them on Twitter or like the pages on Facebook or even edit yourselves in photos amongst them, they'll never be yours. I won't question their ability to sing, they were contestants on X Factor after all. So maybe they do know how to sing, but what they represent is what bugs me. Let's say I've seen none of them playing an instrument, so 
there could have been only one to sing the songs, right? So what's the point of the others? Figuration? Yeah. What bugs me is the fact that four-fifths of the band members are useless. Useless puppets dancing to the hand of corporate scumbags to make money. Because that's what they are. Puppets to corporate scumbags. So for their music and what they represent, we give them a solid 4 of 5, only because they are soon to be history, just like the Jonas Brothers and the Backstreet Boys before them. Yeah, somebody still remembers those douches. I realize I've talked mostly about the female-centric part of pop music, so a takeover is in order. Off you go now. Hello, and let's now focus on the male-centric part of pop music. This pile of garbage which talks about sex, money, cars, partying, and even more sex. And convinced? Well, look at the some grand artists we've had these last years. Yes, grand masters of singing about nothing but nonsensical things such as Pitbull and Florida. And also Jolly Jack and Jacks. Just thinking about their generate beats and still with rap, R&B, or whatever shit they want to call it, gives me a bloody headache. Speaking of Florida and Pitbull, those are the two jackers that I will be tackling. Both have their ridiculous records for ridiculous songs. Florida, for example, who thinks he's so smart, it really takes a genius to understand him. His words on the song Good Feeling, mind you. He and jackass, most of the planet understood that you were talking about blowjobs on your song Whistle. I guess you are as much of a genius as everyone else on this planet, eh? And well, Pitbull who appears in God knows how many songs, just to speak a few Hispanic words. Yeah, great way to shame your heritage there, you sludge walking scum bucket. After three minutes of hearing it, yes, you'd be right for most part for many girls who are as dumb as socks. But hey, no need to make a whole song about it and repeat it over and over again. And by the way, Thank you kindly for having taught me to count from 1 to 4 in Spanish. I learned a lot of French from the telephone group, but at least the songs, no matter how absurd they were, taught me much more than you ever win, Mr. Pitbull. For those two, for sucking that much, I will give them 3 stars on the suckage level, and an additional one for their names. Seriously, guys, very artistic there. But. There's also the rap spectrum to pop music. Great representatives of this include Lil Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, Jay-Z, and other fags. But one that stinks the most in this pile of shit is Kanye West. Of course, Mr. West is best known for being a jerk, interrupting the Grammys when Taylor Swift, by the way, another attention skank went to take her out. Then he gave his best speech of all time, which you will be now hearing with one bonus spot in it, just to show that how much Mr. Kanye West is a jerk. Yo Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. Back on track. Most if not all of his music is out of tune, a trend that is recurrent with those rappers mentioned before. And to you guys who think his lyrics are so deep, God forbid you actually listen to good rappers such as Biggie and Tupac. Like that one song on a Lamborghini. Well, it made me think he had no idea what he was singing about, and let's not even bother with the lyrics, which were so retarded. Even babies of one year old would have more princes than Kanye McGlober West Paul for singing and rapping, if you wish, that piece of lacerated poop. For being such a scumbag, if I be still rating on suckage level for you, Mr. Kanye West. Let's hope that his career has as much time left as his closing line. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google is your best friend. So looking at all this crap in a pop music in a whole, what is our note on it? Well, a 4 out of 5. For surely it's not ending here. 
See, people are so stupid and lazy, they'll just like anything shoved down their throats, thinking it's good, which is not true. Good music abounds, but certainly isn't as popular. Pop propagates mediocrity, so to those people who think pop music is good these days, well, we give a big salute, because surely, they can't think for themselves. Pop music is an industry. Maybe in the time of Jackson it was good, but now we're far cry from that. Only glimpses of what it once was. Of that once prosperous time. Frankly, I give it a 4 out of 5, because I'm sure it will only get worse. Tighten your seat belts, because we've got ways to go. Whether it will get better or not, only time will tell. Only time will tell. Now please excuse me. Will I go have some drugs or something before these infections I contracted from talking about those over-glorified shoelaces kill me?